So because of the complexity out there, the options are positively correlated with the implied volatility. It means that whenever the implied volatility in the market, it goes up, then the option premiums will also go up. It doesn't matter if it is a call option or put option, but if IVs, implied volatility in the market, if it goes up, then the option premiums will go up. So now why does it happen? So let me just navigate you to the calculator and let me just show you. So let's say option calculator and let's select nifty and let's select uh, expiry of 2015 okay and i'm calculating the options premium as per 10 percentage volatility as of now now if you see the vega component for both the options is positive right it is 14.27 for call option and 14.27 for put option now what does that indicate that if volatility from the current implied volatility level if it goes up by one percentage how much absolute, in absolute terms, how much it will affect the premium. So it is trying to tell you that if the volatility goes up by 1% from the current volatility, the call option premium will go up by 14 rupees, 14.27 rupees, and the put option will also go up by 14.27 rupees. Now the catch over here is that everything in the market remains the same. Only the implied volatility moves up. That means that if the entire market remains where it is, the days, the number of days left to the expiry, they are the same. Then it is trying to tell us that one percentage up move in implied volatility will lead to 14.27 uh, rupees up move in the premium. And if the volatility goes down that much by that much rupees, the premium will go down. So let's try to understand how it works. So let's say calculate. Now, if you see, it's 170 and it's 145. So roughly whatever the Vega was, so by that much rupees, the premium of call and put option both went up. Now, if I just move it up by one more percentage, now if you see, it is moving up, both call and put premiums are moving up. So now this is the first characteristics of implied volatility that it is positively related with the option premium. That whenever IV goes up, the call and put premium goes up. Whenever IVs go down, the call and put premiums collapses. Regarding everything in the market remaining same. So now how can we monetize this? So one more characteristics of implied volatility is that that it will never keep on trend okay it will it will never look something like this if you look at the chart of implied volatility it will never look to you that it is trending upwards or it is trending downwards if you look at it mostly you will see that it is mean reverting okay more or less something like this that means whenever it is going at the top it is coming in the normal range and trying to uh, oscillate there whenever it is at the bottom it spikes up from there and then again comes back to its normal range implied volatility it is mean reverting in nature it will not trend so let's just quickly see one example of this and then we will come to what we are trying to achieve so let's say iv i'll take you to ivp ivh so let's just remove all of the other things which i don't want so let's say i don't want this i don't want this and this is what how the bank nifty's ivs are looking now if we see if it is at the top it collapses if it is at the top it is it is collapsing if it is at the bottom it spikes up if it is at the bottom it spikes up if it is at the bottom it spikes up so now how can we trade this information so this information is easily tradable now how can we do it so whenever ivs are at the top i know that ivs are going to collapse so which will pull down my call and put premium both right so if i know that the ivs are going to collapse so few minutes ago we did some small analysis which told us that whenever ivs go down the call and put premium both will go down. So if I catch that the IVs are at the top, from where it may collapse, the chances of my premium melting down is also very, very high, right? So whenever IVs are at the top, I will create strategies such as short straddles, triangles, okay? Due to which the crush in implied volatility will give me a lot of benefit. So let me just show it to you all once. So let's say web.concept.com yes by the way you can access the application from the link in the description box below also the link would be there somewhere in the icon so if i just go to architect and if i go to uh, architect and then just create predefined strategies so i am selecting bank nifty let's say and and i am selecting direction as oscillate he traders concept has simplified option trading analytics for you Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. Oscillate and I want to create a short straddle because 
I am selling call uh, option and put option in this scenario. So why I'm doing that? Because the 140 rupees premium, what I'm getting to see, if that cools down, right? If that cools down uh, because of the IV is going down, then I can benefit, right? So let me just change the base expiry ones because we need to do some analysis. So let's say 25th May expiry. Now, if you see it is at 470 and roughly both the uh, premiums are around 470. So if the IVs are at the top, that means that the IVs will collapse due to which this call premium will also collapse and the put premium will also collapse. And if I sell both of these, then me of uh, monetizing implied volatility, it increases. So this is how a short straddle will look like. Now just observe the black dotted line, which is T plus and PNL. If I just pull the IV down, then you see that it is giving me more profit, more goes down the implied volatility more better it is for me when I'm here, I'm creating this type of strategy. So this is a short straddle, which generally whenever market uh, is expected to collapse is somewhere what we can go ahead and try to uh, observe. But the problem with this strategy is that it will come with a huge loss, which is an undefined loss. But the loss in the strategy is unknown. In this strategy, you will have unlimited loss. So for that, what you can do is you can hedge this position, right? you can obviously convert this strategy into iron converse. So let's say I'm going ahead and buying 44,000, but it is a bit closer. Let's say 44,500. So you can buy buy the wings and hedge this strategy. Okay, so let's say 44,500. And on this side as well, I we need to change it. So I'm doing it approximately. Okay, you can maybe keep the hedges equal. I am doing it quickly. But so what, what is the point of doing this entire thing that even if the IVs go down, still you will make money from the market. And the other thing is you will not take an undefined loss. So for short straddles and strangles, whenever you are taking a trade based on implied volatility, remember one thing that avoid going naked, right? Because the loss over there is unknown. You don't know what the loss can be. It, it, it can be, it can take all of your consistent returns away. That is the first thing. Now coming to when the IVs are at bottom, what you can do is you can simply create a strategy such as long straddles and strangles, which will eventually pay you off when the IVs in the market go up. So what is a long straddle? You buy ATM call option and you buy ATM put option. Too. Okay. And if the IVs in the market, if they go, it will benefit you. So that is how simple a long shadow or a strangle is. Only thing is just be cautious about the theta that you are paying to the market when you are doing long strategies. Now, the biggest question in which stock or which indices there is a long volatility or short volatility opportunity arising. Because in bank if you, if you see the IVs are relatively at the bottom, which may indicate that this will not give you trade each and every day whenever you uh, want to trade basically, right? It will not keep on giving you trades every time you want to. So for that, we have a, a very simple analytic which identifies opportunities for us for trading volatility. Okay, so basically long volatility means potential uh, buying strategy in options and short volatility means potential selling strategies in options. So in short volatility, we will try to capitalize on strategies such as short straddles, short strangles, but with an hedge so that we don't lose a big chunk whenever you are losing. And whenever there is long volatility, the strategy out here are simple that long straddles, long strangles by keeping a time stop loss of maybe uh, two, three days. And that's how easily using wall trader, you can uh, monetize sweet spots of implied volatility.